It was at Monterey, California, and the accident was caused in the freeway. So the guy that hit us, he had a seizure while driving. He was driving his mom to the emergency mm -hmm. because his mom was having a heart attack and he lost control of the, the vehicle and he hit us yeah. in the freeway. And his car flipped over and it killed his mom and I was the one injured in, my mom, in our vehicle. I wasn't supposed to be in the vehicle that day, but uh, I started crying and my mom felt bad. So she took me with her. Yeah. She was gonna leave me with the babysitter. At the age of when you first see people playing sports and all that stuff, just by elementary pretty much when people are playing in the playgrounds or playing ball or stuff like that and I can't really participate very much. That was a lot of um, anger inside of me. Just me and my mom arguing a lot and me wishing that I could walk and a lot of depression and stuff like that. High school, that's when I made new friends and I don't know, it just, I changed a lot. And I always thought I would never have a girlfriend, but I ended up having plenty of them, which I'm not proud of it, but I just never thought I would have girlfriends, you know? I just never thought I would go to prom with a date. My first prom, I didn't have a date, but um, I just, going to prom really made me, that was another, another sad day of my life, because it was mostly about dancing, and I couldn't, I couldn't do anything, and I didn't have a date. But this prom, um, I, had a, I have a wheelchair that stands up, so I could dance this time. Oh, really? And so I, I, had a, I danced with my girlfriend for the first time. I have a friend named Miguel. He kind of fell from his neck down, and he's still a really positive person. And never, he's always with a smile, even though he never leaves his house, even though he doesn't have a lot of friends, and he still believes in God no matter what. Yeah. So just seeing special ed people with a smile motivates me. We could relate. It's kind of funny that she could do things for me and I could do what she can't and she could do what, what I can't. Like she could walk and but she can't talk and I could talk but I can't walk. So just kind of we, we need each other, you know? And it's just it's it's crazy how we both need each other for a lot of things. I just like helping them out and making their life more easier. When I see special ed people, like when I go to the mall or stuff like that, I buy them food and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So there was one time where uh, a group of school that were special ed, there were older people like in their 50s and they were buying food and I went up to them, I told them, can I buy them the food for them? And they said, um, we, that would be nice, but um, we're trying to show them to be independent. And I told them, well, let me buy them the food and you could do, they could buy something else with their money that they were gonna use it for. Yeah. I just bought their food. I was a little kid when I went to the liquor stores. People used to give me five dollars and stuff like that. I knew why, but I just didn't really care why they, why they, if they felt bad for me. I just loved the fact that they helped me out.